Thing. I mean, it, falsification is about disproving uh, well thought out theories. I mentioned, I talked to you, I talked to you through the plum pudding and the Rutherford atom and so on, right? So every new publication in social sciences, new, social sciences has a, new, is in, has a new thing to say that other people were not aware of. It might be a minor thing, okay, it might good. be a major thing. Fine, right. So now my, my point is this that, that uh, he, has, he has written this article with a new piece of information because he did a keyword search on all of the various aspects of the you know, primary, secondary sources within the Hadith literature, right? Because he was looking for that. When you say, I don't dispute, you're right, there are more Hadithin that have memorized hundreds of thousands of Hadith and can tell you this chain is strong, this one's weak, and so on and so forth. But what they aren't doing is looking with a particular angle on, on like this, this author was looking at a particular angle using this keyword to do the keyword search. So it's not just the keyword search, it's the fact that they're looking to see was this word used by the Sahaba, by the Prophet, by the Qunab al by any of the Tabi'in, etc. Yeah. Right? So that's a really key yeah. difference. But here, here, here is a response to this. I mean, I find it strange that you're saying the Muhaddithin have not produced their works on topical issues. Topical meaning a particular topic. For example, on Raf al Yadayn, on raising the hands in Salah. There are many treatises yes, yes. have been written specifically, specifically you know, scratching the literature, searching the literature for every single hadith occurrences where it is mentioned that at what point I can give you I can give you yeah, I, agree I, I can give you a very simple example of what I mean as as a, as a interesting extrapolation, right? Which isn't true. So you know the hadith that says um, is it Bayan al Islam al Khams. Bunya al-Islam. Oh, Bunya, sorry, I've got the wrong pronunciation. Bunya Bunyan al-Islam. Bunya al-Islam al Yes. What, what do we hear? What, what do we hear when we read this? It says Islam, foundation of Islam. You know, Bunyan is profound, fundamental or foundation, I suppose. You, you probably know better than I do. Foundation of the Islam is based on Allah. Hans five. Okay. What do we hear as, as general propagation in the Muslim Umrah? Is there five pillars? Again, there are not five pillars. Uh, the word five pillar was not mentioned okay. in this hadith. Okay. Again, you're, I think with, with all due respect, you're conflating the general understanding people may have wrong. Yes. General meaning a particular group of population yes. that you have encountered yes. and you're extrapolating that to the no. ulama, the scholars. I'm so let's come back you, to the scholars. I am showing you. Let's come back to the scholars. Hang on. No. Just, just on think, the issues of just think carefully about this. I am poking holes in bits where the Muslims have exaggerated things or they misconceive things. And hang on, hang on. Some Muslims, not all Muslims. Yeah, not all Muslims. I agree. I agree. I, I was very careful. By the way, yes. We know each other. We know each other. You know he's a Muslim, don't you? I didn't ask specifically. No, I, didn't, I didn't particularly want to God. say that I was. Oh, come on. Because this, this white dude, like me, is a Muslim. So we do exist, folks. No, but come on, you can't hide that. I do that sometimes. But no, it's, but it's is sometimes, a good man. He is a good man. I know. So I've, I've, I've seen he, him. He's been a, a Muslim for a long, long time. Years. And I first met him at uh, Regis Park Mosque or something. I don't know. Uh, I think we met on Kilburn High Road. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And yeah. then Regis Park Mosque yeah. or something. But um, he's a very knowledgeable Muslim. And, um, and if I may say so, he's a scientist at Imperial College. Yeah, he knows. Oh, you know about that. So he's got a, uh, a real scientific background. Anyway, carry on. Yeah, thank you. Um, it's very nice of you to introduce me, by the way. And this is Mansour. I know he's Mansour. Everyone knows Mansour. 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 You are both Muslims, and he's, he's the real thing. So and sometimes it's important not to maybe reveal your cards all in one go. Yeah, but this is Mansour. Yeah, this is Mansour. We can't stop. Okay, I apologise if my ahmad is not good. That's, that's do forgive me. What I want to say is this. If there's no opportunity, let, this is a question. Is there an opportunity for the Muslims, particularly those that are maybe towards the higher end of the, not the intellectual scale, but the, the knowledge scale, shall we say. Is there a possibility or not that we have within our power as rational human beings, Muslims in particular, the ability to redefine and rethink things that may have become outmoded or no longer apply in the modern era for one reason or another that we can obviously debate, 
is there a possibility of making those changes or not? Because if there is no possibility, then of course I'm going to get on my bike and leave. Because there's no dis there's no debate, there's no dis there's no chance of a debate discussion. Do you know what I'm saying? So if you if we are if we are very narrow-minded, then are we no better? than the Quraysh in the sense that we're not open to new ideas. Yeah? That's my worry as a Muslim. My real worry is I was told a shed load of things about Islam from Muslims. Well-meaning Muslims, scholars and various other... Can you give examples of sort of things Yeah, I did. Oh, I gave the examples earlier. Yeah, the dogs are, are dirty and therefore forbidden haram. Well, if, if, in the Maliki school, that's not the case. It's not the case. They are clean. In, in well, the actually, school. if you read uh, people like... I'm Abu, agreeing with you, by the way. Yeah, I know you are. Khalid, Khalid Abu yeah. Fadl is a, actually probably one, one of the most prominent jurists in the world. And he gives a very long exposition of why dogs are not dirty. Going into all the evidence. Yeah, the four schools, the survivor's not dirty. Yeah, that's right. so there, you a, know, if, if, a dog, if a dog, uh, you know, you fire your arrow at the at the prey, it, it hits the, the, the prey. Eat, the you, dog, the dog takes the yeah, prey you, by the same and thing. You still eat, you still eat it, so yeah, it's not yeah, dirty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah? Okay, and the licking of the bowl was only because dirty wild dogs might transmit well, rabies. Do you have any more examples other than that? Because yeah. there is a genuine so, disagreement amongst Muslims on this. Yeah, uh, yeah. The Maliki and the other four schools. So, uh, so, so. What um, other examples? Another have? example is is uh, bank interest and mortgage interest. Now, now, I could go. We could. We so should have river, a discussion. What's the problem? So river is pretty much. Our yeah. Own. So river is. Well, how do you translate river? river? Well, usury. I am not an Arab It's usury. Okay. It means usury. difference between usury and interest? Okay, I'll, t I'll define the difference. One is non-exploitative, the other is exploitative. Um, to which, to which because the Quran, the Quran in 279 clearly explains why in 275 usury should not be devoured. And it says, it essentially uses the word taslimun wa taslamun, meaning uh, uh, zulum. Can I ask what a, a, a non-sarcastic question here? And, and I'm being totally Soon, sincere. Yeah. None of us are we are, are, are ulama. None of us are mujtahid. None of us are qualified to issue fatwa. I mean, we're not. I mean, you may be the most knowledgeable person in the world unless you have the credentials to do that, which are quite even. Clear. Hang on a second. Hang I'm going to add to what you're so, saying. So, when, yes. when you when you issue when you make these pronouncements, I don't. They are always caveated yes. with the fact that you're not yes. qualified to and do you know so what? Islamically. You know, let me add to what you said. And this is speaker's corner. Yes. So everyone should take this with a pinch of salt, in as much as we're it's all not, not qualified. It is not a fatwa. <laughs> and Absolutely. we should all go to suitably qualified yes. ulama scholars right. who can give us. Uh, no, I think you, you will find that. We can't problem. do that ourselves yeah. as speakers. Oh. Now, that's just my. Well, we all agreed on that. We I all agree. agreed on that. Yeah. So now, can I caveat what you want? But you can't. You're not yeah. issuing. Can a I? Fatwa. That's right. I absolutely that's agree. Right. Can I caveat what you just said? Because most of the mullahs, muftis, scholars, as you call them, from the traditional understanding of that word, because we talked about this, didn't we? Scholars in London, they exist. Okay. In they area. are not economic experts. They are not financial experts. Some in London are, and I know one Very or two of them. Very few. Um, what's it? Um, What's his name? Uh, uh, I can't remember his name now. Uh, there, there are um, bona fide scholars in London yeah. who are experts on this okay. precise area of financial okay. expertise. Yes. So I would say to any listeners and watchers, if you want a fatwa and people do go to this guy, go to him yes. and not to us standing around at speaker's Even corner. Even the person... You are entitled to have your opinion, yeah, however, sure. but as, an, as, a, the as, problem, as an amateur, however, as a non-scholar. The problem, however, is when a new come Muslim comes to you guys Muslim. and you say to them, as I've heard, and I don't think you did, but I, know, I certainly know that Hamza, who's another... Which Hamza? Uh, Hamza Robertson is his name. You know, he's a different... From different anyway, well, what does he say? He has said to, and, and it's true that a lot of da'is have said to new Muslims, you're not allowed bank interest, therefore you're not allowed a mortgage. Right? And that is a fatal error. They need to get expert it's advice. It's a fatal error. That mortgage needs to get expert advice yes. because there now, are a number we, of scholars we, who have ruled we have quite a nuanced factor that's on right, this. Of course. And, and need to be careful. So if, yes. if what you're saying is true, I agree with the criticism. Yes. We as amateurs should not be giving financial advice uh, as Muslims to other Muslims about mortgages. Unless we're specialists in that area. And I don't think the person you're talking is a specialist. He's a so great guy, but he's not a specialist in this area. Hamza. Oh, yes, sorry, I, yes. I don't think he has. No, no, a, he's a day. He's a day. Yeah, but he, he may also have that. No, I don't think he does. He, 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 he did used to sell mortgages, right. but that's not the point. <laughs> he hasn't written any publications <laughs> in this area, right? But I am referring to right. somebody who's written okay. a publication. But I just want in this to return area. to the, yeah. the subject about the scholarship of the past. Um, no, but, but the, I, the impression yeah. that, that, that you, you, you're bringing here, um, it seems like they were not busy or concerned with a 
keyword search to understand a particular topic, like the example of the Sharia. Right? No, 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 and, no, hang, and, hang, hang, I define this very carefully. Can I make my yeah. point and then yeah, you can yeah, yeah, um, disagree or agree or yeah, correct yeah, me if you want? Um, so, for 1200 years at least, you are saying there hasn't been a scholar, Muslim scholar, a man or a woman, who's looked into this word and said, ah, we are misapplying the word Sharia. Um, no, 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 I think I think there are some scholars that would have mentioned, just to add to it. Yeah, but there are, let me, let me finish, majority majority of scholars, let, me, yeah. let me finish. The majority of scholars are... The, the paper that you brought, which has some new contributions, yes. albeit very little sometimes, maybe more, depending on, there has to be something new. You suggesting somehow that this scholar, uh, from Bahrain, I mean, it, the, it's irrelevant where he is. Exactly, yeah. irrelevant. I'm saying he's it's from. No, I'm saying it's from not from Europe because people might understand that. Oh, oh he's okay. a, He was just educated on European yeah, institutions. He, he was. He was. Look, let me explain. But he is currently he, there. He learned. He learned. He gained his credentials as a, as a, an expert of Islamic finance. Mm. He gained them through learning uh, economics. He studied economics and finance in a variety of, uh, of American universities. He, he was a he was an associate professor in uh, one of the, the public universities in the U.S. And then he was headhunted by the, the Institute of Banking and Finance in Bahrain. It was a big deal. Fine. Now so, he's in the university. So my, my surprise is. The, the even you know the suggestion that the word Sharia wasn't even understood by the people who were writing about okay. Sharia. So let yeah. Let, so let me oh, let me patience, let me, patience, let me, patience, 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 patience. <laughs> You have the fuqaha writing almost every every century, no, 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 no. almost every century. Patience, unfair, my my unfair. Patience. What <laughs> what jurisprudence is all about in Muslims' lives? Yeah, that's not what we're saying. Um, no, I'm saying. We have the thick manuals, manuals yes, of jurisprudence. Yes. And that's a, for a great, Muslim, that's a great title. Thick is a great title. For, for Muslim yes. to live their lives yes. in accordance with yes. the divine yeah, decree, yeah, right? We Good. Have to agree to right, agree. right. So, so there has always been this teaching that has been taught, whether in written form or verbal instruction. So it's irrelevant to me by this looking for the word Sharia, you know, whether it was applied 200 years ago, 20 years after, conceptually, conceptually, Can we the move teaching. This? We're going to finish soon because I have to yeah, go yeah. to prayer now. So no, I, mean, we have to go same, to prayer. Same, same we all have to go to prayer. <laughs> as a prayer. I know. The concepts embodied within our guidance that we have to follow, do's and the don'ts, right? And something that is in between is permissible. No, I am saying this has always been the case no. available, available. The terminology, the example I use the word globalization, yes. may be a new concept, a new, sorry, not new term, yes. new term. Yes. So if you think Sharia is a new term that would be introduced 200 years later, yes. still it doesn't make much difference. It only makes difference if people today are saying they're misapplying by introducing the meaning of to this to this word, which the fuqaha never applied. That's what they applied. Yeah, yeah. That's so, exactly so, right. So, That's so exactly if, right. So if we have, well done. Say the madhahib, four madhahibs. Yes. Okay. Whether the Shafi's, yeah, the Hanbalis, the Malikis, Hanafis. If all they explain what that, Sharia, that, that, Jafaris as well. Okay. Well, well, Jafaris and whatever. They're, they're, they're part of the Sharia. Yeah, yeah. You have to. Part of the world. They're part of the, the Sharia. You're going to say. <laughs> Oh, part of what? Oh, you can't help yourself. <laughs> yes, you're right. It's, right. it's a difficult thing to, so, to, to... So, what we have is, they have already explained the do's and the don'ts. Okay? So, so much for Freudian slips, eh? That was a big Freudian slip, that was. The do's and the don'ts, <laughs> yes, right? Sorry, yes. Using these terms yes. to understand what yes. we should do. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, and what is just simply permissible in between, for example. Yes. Because, as I was mentioning earlier, five different categories of what every action falls in. So one is absolute mandatory, obligatory, and the opposite extreme is totally forbidden. And in the middle is permissible. Which is the most. And, and the other extreme, yeah. no extreme, side to that is yeah. recommended so is that, or disliked. Is that divine, all of that divine? No. These actions come from where? The understanding of the divine text. That's right. By asking is it divine is irrelevant here. No, it isn't. Because, right. because there's a misconception among parts of the Ummah and also the non-Muslims that, that Sharia equals divine law, okay. as we discussed. Who among the Ummah is misunderstanding this? So, uh, among so scholars? Good. I can explain to you. The, the Ikhwan al-Muslimin, the Jamiat al-Islami scholars, the Hezbo Tahrir scholars, the ISIL and ISIS scholars. Okay. You know, I think you said it. You are highlighting 
a purpose no, of let me, no, let me finish. groups hey. with political affiliation yes. and some That's understanding right. to do with... Now, what did Professor... Do you know, do you know Professor... Can I finish my point? No, no, my, my dear brother in Islam. You had a long talk. No, just to summarize it. Yeah. You have these groups. These groups are politically affiliated yes. with a particular understanding to implement yes. the divine teaching and guidance here on earth, right? Whether it be in Muslim land or non-Muslim land or both. That's what the groups are doing. But that's only focusing on a very narrow group of people which you think represent the Ummah. The Ummah... There is a large constituency who think that the Sharia is going because of the misunderstanding, the general misunderstanding. Let me, let me, let me do you agree? Do you agree? Okay, do you agree that? Islam, which is emanating from the Book of Allah and the Sunnah of the Prophet and the understanding from those two should be applied on our lives. Right. The mechanism and the method, the rules of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, however they are interpreted, right, by the rights rightly qualified people to interpret them, of course we have to. We agree. That's but we're not arguing about that though. We're arguing about the use of a technology that was never used by the Prophet. That's what I'm arguing. It was never used by the I'm saying, did the Prophet explain a terminology of Muqatul no, Ayyad? He didn't. But are you saying now we shouldn't apply that term? I think we can easily refer to Islamic law as Muslim law or fiqh. No, 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 no. If a concept, for example, the Arab. No, because I'll explain why. Because the Prophet never used it in that sense. Well, I'm using the same argument. I'm using the same argument. To write down the Quran, we have introduced terminologies, which is vowelization or use of diacritics. Right? But that's different. We're talking about please, please, please. These terminologies the Prophet did not use this. That's right. But we do not have a problem no, when we start interpreting words when they have a real we're not we're not discussing about something which has a, 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 an effect on say how you pronounce a, you know correctly pronounce a word. We're talking about something that you practically implement in your life, right? There's a difference the, between the, the, the difference these terms. Is the Sharia, the term that is understood was understood by the Madahib. Yes. Were they understanding correct? Yes, at that time. Right. So, but, 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 hang on, at that time. And why is it not understood? Correct because correct? I explain why. Because now, with some additional scholarship, we can see that for the first 200 years or so, the term was never used. That the actual ayah which contains the word Sharia is a Makkan ayah. So, therefore, it must predate law, which came only when in the period of Medina. You see, I'm, I'm not my, following you, my brother. Will you, you promise to read the article? No, no, of course. I mean, I can give you my email. You can send it, send, send, send it to me. If we have terminologies, the specialists of the Quran, who make tadween, those who write the Quran, they have developed this term. Of, I'm using the English term now. Okay, vowelization and diacritization, or di using ease of diacritics. If we find that some people are misapplying this term, are we going to now change this term, which has been established for 1,200 years, at least, to something, something? No, no. I'm using the, the use of nukat and i'jam. Yep. Or in writing the Quran. If some groups of Muslims are misapplying what it means, are you suggesting, if you are actually, that 1200 years of this accepted terminology and the concept that carries it, that is all about making the points on a letter which is indistinguishable from other letter to make diacritics and also put vowel marks so that we understand it better, those who are non-Arabs, you're saying that we should not use those terms anymore because certain groups today are misapplying. If the traditional Fuqaha from the Madahib, the four schools of five schools of them. If they were okay with using it and understanding it, and you are, you just you said it's okay. Why are we then worried about? We are worried because because of the misunderstanding behind the word. Okay, so, so equate it to, to, to legal. Why are you not consistent? No, I am consistent. 
So if a group misapplies these terms, okay, the terms that we use to say how to add a vowel or vowel marks and diacritic marks, if you have a group of people today, today, misapplying that, are you going to suggest that we are not going to change that? Obviously, that's that is um, a reasonable facsimile of the uh, of the words of the Quran or whatever. That's a reasonable facsimile using diacritical marks and so on. So the terminology is proper. Yeah, the new fine. terms, the prophet's words, did not use. But, but, but yes, but that's, that's, there's nothing wrong with that. Okay? That's what I'm but saying. No, there's but nothing wrong with Sharia yeah. as it was understood correctly by correctly, yeah. correctly yeah. by the people who are yeah. Fatah yeah. and Imam. No, but the problem is no, no. and the Mujtahid Imams that followed through them, so, which they so, had. So, um, why it's an interesting thing that this at this period in time, if somebody's come along and shown that, demonstrated that the word that's used in the Quran is not used ever in a legal sense by the Prophet or his, or his successors. Yeah, and you're saying we should still use that term. I mean, that, that's a, that's a ridiculous. Isn't that what you're saying? No, the Prophet never used saying, the term. No, you're actually saying that our scholars are, are more knowledgeable than the Prophet and his companions, yes you are, I would like you to come up with a consistent suggestion. No, I have. Read, read the, 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 the you need to read the article. Of course, but the example that I cited to you in return yes. is an example of, that's of, of, of... Are you saying the scholars are more knowledgeable on this issue to use this term? That, that, that has a non-effect non on, on the, on the uh, extraction of law or extraction of rules, shall we say. That has no effect on the extraction of same applies for the concept introduced by the terminology of Sharia. It's exactly the same. Because the concepts that it embodies, it is not the concept of modern day groups. If you are happy with that understanding, then change the understanding of the modern day groups and say your understanding needs correcting. Your understanding needs to go back to how it was understood by the scholarship for 1200 years. It was never understood for the first 200 years as that idea. That's a novel idea. It, 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 it doesn't make sense because it was never originally intended as a legal as a legal uh, description in the Quran, and it wasn't used by by the Prophet and his and his followers to describe it either. And in fact, there are the descriptions which I've mentioned to you many times: fiqh, Muslim law, even Islamic law is fine. But to use that term synonymous with law is a mistake. It's a simple mistake. Yes, it is. I think the I explained to you. I explained to you about pillars. You know that, that, that we use pillars as if it's something that exists in the Hadith, but it doesn't. You know. But I'm not going to say you shouldn't use five pillars. I think I think that that's not going to have a big effect, actually, really. I mean, I personally prefer to refer to the, the five okay. as the five public rituals. When, when it says Bunyan Islam ala khams, yes. when we are building when, but, yeah, banner, what are the foundations of a house? They didn't just introduce it from nowhere. Yeah. What makes Why do they call it pillars? What makes because a house, when it's yes. built, the foundation of its house is what? But it doesn't say pillars in the in the actual uh, yeah. thing. That's yeah. earth. That is, that is yeah. 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 embedded yeah. within the verb. Yeah. Yeah. It's embedded within the verb, the meaning. That's what I'm saying is, conceptually, the understanding is correct. The terminology you might disagree with is, oh baby, they should have used like foundations, foundational uh, structures or foundational, you know, one principles. Thing, one, of the, one of the questions I sometimes get sometimes going We have to go to prayer. Yeah, let's go and pray us. Okay, let's go and pray us. Yeah. Let's go.